Hey everybody, it's Joshua Fields Milburn from The Minimalist. Welcome back to Living Room Conversations. We're here in my living room, well, my dining room, which is right next to my living room here. And we have a question today from Happy Flowers. Actually, um, yesterday's video was about why doesn't minimalism have a lot of color? Why is it all black and white and has no personality or style? And I objected, obviously, to, to that question. But um, we're here in my kitchen. You can see I just actually got some happy flowers here right now. Um, and there's these specks of color that really stand out when we have these, these stark backgrounds. In fact, the, the bookshelf that's over here in, in the living room, um, the, the sort of colors that, that are involved with that really stand out because you have these, these stark backgrounds. So whenever you have a pop of color, it, it tends to come to the surface, even when you have flowers like this, that otherwise they might just go unnoticed, although you can smell them really well in, in the house right now because I just got them uh, last night. Anyway, today's question is from Happy Flowers, and the question is, what is one item you would grab if your house caught fire? Well, I kind of struggle with this question, and, and let me tell you why I struggle with this question. I... I wish I had a sexy answer for it. Like I wish I could say there was some Fabergé egg or some beautiful stamp collection that is so near and dear to me. But I tend not to think of material possessions as precious items because we have, we have a problem treating everything as, as precious. But if everything is precious, then nothing is, right? And so I think back to, um, I got married when I was really young and we went on a honeymoon went down to Mexico. I was uh, 22 years old at the time. And I remember we, we filled our luggage up with all this excess stuff, right? We, we had uh, dress shoes, I brought a suit with me, I had three or four pairs worth of swimming trunks, uh, I, had, I had two suitcases, well I had a carry-on suitcase and then I had like the check bag suitcase. And then my spouse, she, she had this, the biggest suitcase we had, and then she had another suitcase, and then her carry-on sort of large purse item. And we had all the stuff that we packed for this six or seven day trip. And the thing about having the, the large suitcase is we feel compelled to fill it up. Oh, I can fit one more pair of shoes in there. I'll put this in there. Oh, I'll bring this just in case, just in case this, and just in case that. And we feel compelled to pack all the stuff. But when we got to the airport uh, down in Cincinnati, which the Cincinnati airport is actually in Kentucky, um, we were trying to weigh all of our, our, our things so we can get it checked. And we were over the limit. The limit was 50 pounds at the time. And I remember my, my, my wife, she, her, her suitcase was, was 70 pounds. And then we weighed mine and we realized mine was 40 pounds. So I had at least 10 pounds worth of, of room so I could move some of her accoutrements into my bag because they were too precious to leave at home. And of course, I had way too much stuff in there as well. I had, uh, who needs 40 pounds in one bag? And I had my other bag was probably another 40 pounds. So I had 80 pounds worth of stuff. She had 80, 90, 100 pounds worth of stuff. We're traveling for one week with several hundred pounds of, of things because everything was precious. I need this, I need this, I need this. And the truth is that we just weren't being deliberate. We weren't being intentional about what we should bring because we had the space. We might as well grab the thing and fill it. And I, so I think of this, this thought experiment, this question about if your house was on fire, what's one thing you would grab? Probably nothing. I mean, I, as long as my family is safe, which those aren't things obviously, but as long as the people I care about are safe, then I'd be fine. Everything else is usually on my person, whether it's my phone so I can make the emergency phone call and tell the, the police and the fire department, oh my God, my house is on fire. Or it's my wallet, it's, that's on my person, or my chapstick, that's wildly important to me because I get some chapped lips, especially in the summer. Uh, you can see I've got a bit of a sunburn right now and that adds to the, the chapped lipness. And um, everything else is everything else is replaceable. I mean, it'd be a huge inconvenience. There are things that I would miss not having around, but those are all replaceable things, right? So what's the one thing I would grab in a fire? Nothing.
All right, y'all, if you have any more questions for these living room conversations, you can leave them below in the comments. Also, if you like these answers, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. We'll keep answering your questions. I'll see you soon.